Hi, I'm Tada of Mada Tsukairu Day. Mada Tsukairu Day is Japanese, meaning you can still use it. So let's repair it yourself and save money, energy, and resources. Today's video is about the update of the 93 Jeep Cherokee camper project. Uh, today I finished uh, installation of the lever for the rear hatch. And now I can open the rear hatch from inside and also I can lock unlock the rear hatch from inside. And if you wanna go out from the rear hatch from inside, uh, you can the, just uh, unlock the, the hatch and open the hatch. So I'll show you how I did it. I painted this part in red and I made this uh, out of an uh, electric conduit and uh, also I found some random plastic piece for the end uh, cover and I made a hole here so this will be the handle bar on the rear latch I mean the rear door and I purchased this uh, again the slotted uh, slab uh, this is just a steel and uh, I think I'm gonna use this for the uh, uh, latching of the rear hatch. I got uh, some uh, screws. Uh, I decided to use M6 or uh, metric six millimeter uh, screw. And uh, so the, for holding the uh, that plastic plate, I'm gonna use this one. And uh, so it's coming from the the other side. And uh, so the, you will see the the holding nut like this on the inner side. Okay. One thing I'm gonna do after I change my mind is rather than having the pivot here, I'm gonna have the pivot around here so that the if the pivot is here, the movement here is, is, is not big, it's a slight, it's really like a slight movement. I want to have the pivot around here so that the, I, I actually move the lever more, that's actually for the, the safety reasons. So I'm going to make a hole around here for this, for this lever and similarly, I, this is too long, but I want to have the pivot around here to actuate this guy. So this is this is the uh, the plan I, I changed. So one hole here, one hole around here, so that the lever and lever is something like this. Okay, I'm gonna use this long one in here. And use a spring washer here so that the, the screw is not gonna get loose. I mean, the just not, not gonna get loose. I forgot something actually. I was thinking about having the larger flat washer because this this part doesn't look like a, the metal. It looks like it's some uh, the kind of plastic material. So if I put the handle here, and then there might be a chance that the this plastic may crack. So the I'm gonna put some washers. Okay, so I'm gonna put this guy.
Okay, I clean the all the push pin holder uh, structure and so that the this nut will be just you no know, touching the plate and this guy's kind of short so the hopefully this stud will come all out of the or uh, that this this plate and let's see how it goes Anyways, I, I'll probably extend. Well, it's almost there, so I think this guy is on, so this guy should be on. Shouldn't be a problem. This guy for the handle. Yeah, I think it's okay. And I'm gonna make a hole around here for the lever. Another hole around here for the lever. So. Yeah, I painted this in red and so this guy will go here okay. so it goes like this yeah. so you're gonna feel fine okay I made two holes as expected this was uh, the glass fiber not the the metal I gotta put the washer so and also this side, flat washer and the spring washer. Okay, I made this hole larger so that it's gonna fit here. And then it's gonna be like this. adjustment and put back the holes and this is temporary not but this this is how it works I think it's gonna work if you have a plate this guy will be more stable so it go like this so it's gonna work okay I cut this bar to the length so it's go like this again Not. So the reason why I made an angle is it goes this way. So if it goes the other way around, it's gonna open by itself. I don't wanna have that. So then that's why it's safety feature, it always go this way. So unless you intentionally lift this guy this way, you cannot open it. So I, I put the nut behind this plate. And then yeah, it goes like this. So now I have to to make another 
fill it here. And then Gold extend to around here, I think. And I, I, I gotta make a slit. So it turned out these guys were too short. So I decided to do this. So they use the longer uh, bolt and adjust the length by having the one nut behind. And I replaced these guys. With, with with this and and I think I can put this guy also here. Okay, so I put this uh, short short nut here. This is for the handlebar. This is for the lever. I made a new hose. And these guys, these two, also these two on the right. These two, actually four. I gotta use the push pin, plastic push pin. And this hole is the original screw, tapping screw. I gotta. Here, uh, there's uh, the original tapping uh, screw. So the, I think it's this side is ready to uh, put the plate. I'm waiting for the the lever. Uh, I color it in red, and then the, the I'm waiting for the paint to dry. Okay, I think it's working fine. I paint it. Four. All that block, and it's not gonna work. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna put the this guy here. Okay. So I finished. This and this is locked, unlock and lock up. Hold this guy close. Lock. Great. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.